Hi everybody, Shihalud here. In this video we're going to show you how to combine the BA Repair mod with the Apocalypse Armory mod that's located in the optional file section of my downloads. So let's get started. When we start up FO3 Edit, we're going to select None and just select the BA Repair mod and the Apocalypse Armory mod. Don't worry about loading the master files as they're going to be pulled in anyway. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. As a reminder, my BA Repair mod only modifies the Form ID list. So since we're going to be working with that, let's check out the Form ID list within the Apocalypse Armory mod itself. As we open this, we notice that there's a lot of conflicts. Looking at the laser rifle, you can see that Fallout 3 wants to load its weapon set, or repair set, excuse me, and then Apocalypse Armory wants to add two custom weapons to its set. But since my BA Repair mod is loaded last, it overrides both of those and adds the tin can, wonder glue, scrap metal, and bent tin can, including an, an addition to a laser pistol for repair. But you don't get to repair it with the custom weapons. In order to do this quickly, what we're going to do first is create a merged patch. This is going to combine all of these into another file that's going to pull all the, the similar values over. We'll show you here. Go down and select, on the left hand side over here, just click in the open area and go down and select Create Merged Patch. For a file name, I already have it copied from the actual file name, but enter whatever you'd like down here. As soon as you hit OK, it's going to create a merged patch for you very quickly. Upon opening this, we'll notice that the form ID list is the only listing affected, and that some of the items in here have been already sorted. Going back to the laser rifle that we just had, you can see that everything got pulled over including the customized weapons and the four items from my mod. But since this list isn't all inclusive of everything that's available in the, in the AA mod, let's go back in here and check the form ID list. Due to the naming convention that he uses here and using repair for several items, anything that does need a repair list, I'm going to sort it by editor, editor ID. By scrolling down here, you can see that the 10mm pistol and the submachine gun have already been merged. But looking at the 14mm gun, it hasn't been, because it's a customized weapon for the AA mod. So it's not going to have any of the items that I have in mind. Now there's two approaches that we could take with this, and I'm going to show you both, hopefully in a relatively quick manner. Sorry about that. <laughs> what, the first method we're going to use is we're going to take the 14mm weapon and right click on it and we're going to select copy as override into. Now this process is going to be a little bit faster than we did before. Go ahead and click yes for the warning here and we're going to place it right into the merged patch. There's two ways you could do this. You could check it and hit OK or you could just double click the name. I find double clicking the name is a little bit faster. Now that the item is down here in the merge list, what we want to do is collapse down the armory mod so we back in here, collapse the form ID list and reopen it. Now we see the 14 millimeter weapon but it's just a copy. We don't have any of the other items. To get the other items in there relatively quickly, hold down control and select a second item. Right click on either one of those and select compare selected. In this listing we see that we have the 10 millimeter pistol and the 14 millimeter pistol side by side. From here we can just take my items that I use in my mod and pull them over relatively quickly into the 14 millimeter mod left clicking outside of the area and going back into the 14 millimeter gun we look that the apocalypse armory mod had its original settings and now the merge patch now contains all the items that I had in my mod including their custom weapons now this method would be relatively quick if you only had a couple items to repair but looking back in the armory mod there are a lot of items that we need to go through and try and modify all these ones in white are there custom weapons that we're going to have to go through and make changes to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take every single one of these by holding down control and selecting each one individually and I'm going to move them all over to the new mod. I'll be right back. Now I have all the items selected. It took a little bit of while to do so I wanted to pause the game while I, or pause the video while I did it. I'm just going to right click on any one of these, select the co copy as override into, we're going to double click on the merge patch again. We're pretty much done in the AA mod, so let's go ahead and collapse all that down. Let's collapse the form ID list and reopen it from within the merge patch. Now we see all the new items that we need to make 
new changes to. As I said before, we could take the 14 millimeter gun and the 223 pistol, do a compare selected, and move these items over individually. But that's four different moves that we need to make for every single gun that they have in their repair list. While this is faster than my old method, I've actually come up with something a little bit newer that'll be a little bit quicker when you're affecting several mods across this, an entire uh, listing like this. Go up and select the Form ID List header. In the, when you have that selected, right click and go down to Add New Form List. Just take the default number that they give you and it's going to create a new Form ID List. For the name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it BA Repair Items. For the form IDs, I am going to employ the method that I just explained to you guys. By comparing the selected items, pulling those four unique items that I used within this mod over to that BA Repair mod, Repair Items list. We go back and look at it, now those four items are available to us. Now that we have this new form list available to us, what we can do is we can go into the 14mm weapon, select one of these tin cans, and wait a second and then select it again. Now this process is going to take a little bit of a while because what we're doing here is we're going to be loading every single weapon, every single armor, every single miscellaneous item for use in selection for a repair item for this. As you see it says not responding up top, but it's working in the background. This will just take a minute. I'll pause until it's ready. Now that it's finally loaded, we can see that we have a drop-down menu available here. You could go into the drop-down menu and try and scroll up and find the BA Repair Items form list that we just created. Or, you can just select a spot within there and use your mouse wheel to scroll down one spot. Since it's on to the next one, just hit the B button on your keyboard. And as you see, it brings up a listing here, and the first one available is BA Repair Items. Obviously, you want to hit B for if you named it something different. But What we're going to do is we're going to select that and hit Return. Now the BA Repair Items list is part of the 14mm listing. We can actually remove these three extra items now. And now, in a single click, in a single move, we can uh, employ everything that's within this BA Repair Items list. Real quick, I'm going to remove the items from the 223 pistol so that I can apply this, the new listing to all the weapons at once. What we're going to do now is we're going to select all of the unique items. In order to do that quickly from within this new merge patch, let's go back and reselect the form ID header. This is going to sort everything back into the original place where it was before. As you see, most of these things at the top are all the vanilla items. Once you get down to Repair Chainsaw, if this pops up, go ahead and click No until we're done. You're going to select Repair Chainsaw, hold, your, hold down your Shift key, go all the way down to Swords, and select all of them. Then go ahead and say Compare Selected. Now the one that we're looking for is we're looking for the 14mm weapon, which I probably should have made sure it was at the top first. I'm going to back up just a sec, and I'm just going to select the Repair Chainsaw, which is going to be the first one in the heading, or first one on the list, and the Repair 14mm that we already made the modification to. If you compare the selected items and pull the BA Repair item over, now we can go ahead and select the entire list, and it'll be a lot easier to work with. Selecting all of them and hitting Compare Selected, we have our Repair Chainsaw at the very first entry. If we scroll to the bottom of the form ID lists that are available, you see that we have BA Repair Items down here. Again, that's referencing this file that we have down here that lists the scrap metal, the wonder glue, the tin cans, and the bent tin cans. By taking this item and just moving it over to each new item in the list, what we're going to be doing is adding that BA Repair Item list to every single other weapon within here in a single click. All I'm doing here is I'm just left clicking and dragging the items. You'll notice when I get to the edge of the screen here and I click on it, it bumps the screen over a little bit so that I can continue per moving across the listing. This might take a little bit of while, but what you're doing here is you're able to do everything in a single click instead of having to move all four items over, which would be very